Hello people, this is self -Turts and we are continuing our series on Python and MongoDB and in this particular video we will learn about sorting of documents. So sorting of document plays an important role in any application. Let's say you are having more than 1000 users in your application and then what you need to do is you need to show those users on a uh, website or on your own graphical user interface anywhere. So in that case, two scenario can happen that you want to show the most recent recently created user first or the oldest user first. So in that case, you need to sort the document because you will get the list of all the document and then you need to sort the document. There can be another use case where you want to show the uh, names of the user in lexographical way that is in the ascending order of their name or descending order of their name. So in that case also you need to sort the documents. So in this video we will learn that how we can do that. So sort method is used to sort the results in ascending or descending order based on a key. So you need to provide a key on which you can sort the user. So let's say based on name. So name can be a key if the if your document contains a key as one of the name. Okay fine. There can be age or there can be other thing. Now sort methods take first parameter as the field name on whose value we will apply the sorting. So we will call the sort method on the method uh, on the find method or find one method. And then you need to provide the first parameter as what the field name on which you will apply the sorting. Then the sort method takes the second argument as the direction. So you need to provide the direction that is it is ascending or it is descending. So we'll see here that the ascending order has one as the parameter, second parameter. So if you provide ascending, so it will be one as the second parameter here. If you want to do the descending kind of sorting, then you need to provide minus one. So the ascending means what? So if you take example of user creation, so all the user will be created and they will be having a created at time. So in the case of ascending, the most recent user will be at the top and the oldest user will be at the bottom. So it is a ascending graph and the descending graph will be what? The most oldest user will be at the top and the uh, recent user will be at the bottom. So in this way you can use the ascending and descending. So the important thing that you need to keep in mind is that sort method takes two parameter. The first parameter is the key on which you want to perform the sorting and then you need to provide the direction by using one and minus one. So one is for ascending and minus one is for descending. So let's go to our IntelliJ idea and let's do some sorting here. So we have already seen this code in our previous video. So we install this PyMongo and then we created a Mongo client using this connection string. So this connection string is basically for our local MongoDB. So we have IP port and the database name. Then finally we are taking a reference of the database on this particular client and the name of the database is what inventory. And after that we are referencing to the collection items and we will perform operation on these items. Let's go to our RoboMongo and here we can see that we have an inventory database and the items collection and these are the different items which are present here. So at current we have four different items, one, two, three, four and they have these many fields like item, quantity, tag, size and other things, fine. So let's see it in this way also so it is better to understand. So this is the ID, this is the item. This is the quantity, this is the tax and this is the size. Now let's say you want to sort based on the quantity. So such that the quantity which is having the most value will be at the top and the quantity which is at the lowest value will be at the bottom. So this can be a perfect scenario for let's say you have a product listing page where you want to sort the product based on the quantity or sort the item based on the quantity. So in that case you can call this sort method. So let's come here and let's do what it is collection. We have this collection instance and on this collection instance we will do what we will call the method find and we will not provide any parameter inside it such that it will get all the documents. So if you provide some filter which we saw in previous video then it will try to filter out something but let's say we are only having four documents so we'll take all the four documents and on those four documents we will apply this sort method. So it will be sort method and the key on which we will be applying is what the key name is quantity. So let's provide the key name as quantity and let's provide it in ascending or descending order let's check here so ascending says what the most recent or the uh, maximum value will be at the top and the 
minimum value will be at the bottom so we will do ascending one so here we are putting one and this result we will save inside a cursor because find always returns as a cursor object so we have seen in previous video that find returns as a cursor object and then what we will do we'll try to print each document so we will do a for loop so we'll say each doc in cursor and then we will print the doc so what do you guess what will happen so as i guess the 100 will be at the top then it will be 85 then 25 and 25 so let's go to the right hand side here in the terminal and let's run the program using python app.py so 25 here 25 and then 85 okay so if you provide one then it is in the descending order so first item is the lowest one so i think we have uh, written it wrong here so if it is one so it is in descending and if it is minus one then it is ascending so let's do it minus one so let's do it minus one and let's check the output so this time you can see we got 100 at the top and 85 and 25 and 25 so this was all about that how you can do a sorting you need to provide the key name and then you need to provide the direction so minus one if you provide minus one then the largest value will be at the top and the lowest value will be at the bottom if you provide one then the largest value will be at the top uh, then the lowest value will be at the top and the largest value will be at the bottom so in this way you can apply some sorting techniques on your document so this was all about this video hope you like this video hope you like my channel please subscribe to my channel and please share these videos with other people thank you